Hey Kindergarten, welcome back once again. I'm here today with our friends Mr. D, Mr. L, Mr. F, Mr. R, and way, enough, way behind here is Miss A. She's got a bit of a cold today, so she's gonna do a little bit of distancing from her friends, right, so that she doesn't get anybody sick. So <clears throat> let's uh, talk about the story that they're gonna do for you today. You might remember that when we uh, had Mr. R first come to the class, Mr. R was a bit of a rascal. He was jealous of his friends and he would rip rubber bands at them and would steal friends and not play the game the right way and cheat. And that just wasn't a very nice way to make friends. And it was our job to make him make better choices, wasn't it? Now, Mr. R, you know, he um, he's making better choices and a lot of people enjoy playing with him much more now. So. He wanted us to remember, what, what was that? Oh, there was that time. Mr. R wants to tell you about a time that he made some choices that weren't so great and it really hurt the feelings of his friend, Mr. F. So, I'm gonna let them <clears throat> switch the story over. So we've got Megan, Mr. D with his delicious donuts. What sound does delicious donuts begin with? D. Mr. L with his lovely lemon lollipops. What sound does L, oh, I'm sorry, what does Mr. L's lovely lemon lollipops begin with? L. Mr. F with his funny feet and his flowers. What does funny feet and flowers begin with? <laughs> Mr. R with his ripping rubber bands. What sound does ripping rubber bands begin with? R. Right. And last but not least, again, we have Miss A over here, and she goes, ah ah And ah makes her ah sound. Okay, so let's take these letter boys and see what happens in their story. There are no words on the storyboard itself, but remember, if there aren't words, we can still read a story because the pictures will give us picture clues and tell us what we think might be happening. We can interpret what is happening in the story just by looking at the pictures, the expressions on the characters' faces, what their bodies are doing. Should we begin? Okay. <clears throat> Mr. F says that he was angry with all the letter people. Mr. F says that they were flat levers. What does Mr. F mean by a flat lever? All right, okay, so a flat lever is somebody who leaves a friend to go play with another friend and leaves you behind. Tell Mr. F about a time that maybe somebody made you feel flat. Did you ever have a friend who left you and played with somebody else? How did you feel about it? Mr. F wants to tell you how he felt about it. Okay, so let's look at our first picture. Where are Mr. F and the letter people? They're on Funny Feet Road, right? We can tell two different ways. First, the sign says Funny Feet Road. Also, we can look at the road that they're walking on that has what on it? Funny Feet, they're following Funny Feet Road. How does Mr. F look? How, look at the expression in his face. Yep, he looks happy. How do the other two characters look? Mr. D and Mr. L. They also look happy, right? We're looking at the expressions on their faces. That tells us that all three friends are happy. Why are the letter people following Funny Pete Road? Ah, they like that they're gonna go to Mr. F's playground to play a fun game. Mr. F has a really fun playground. Why is Mr. F happy? Because it's fun to play with his friends, you're right. Mr. F invited all the letter people to come and play with him on his road. They all came except for Mr. R. Mr. R said it's a baby game and he doesn't want to play baby games. Let's look at what happens next in our story. Now who has come to Funny Feet Road? Who is this rascal? All right, Mr. R. Mr. R has come to Funny Feet Road. How can you tell that Mr. F is happy to see Mr. R? Oh, right, because he's smiling and he's waving. Smart, you guys are really smart. Okay. 
Mr. F thinks that Mr. R has changed his mind to come and play. Why do you think Mr. R has come? Has he come for another reason? What do you think Mr. R is telling the other letter boys? He's whispering it to them so that Mr. F cannot hear. What do you think Mr. R is whispering? Oh. Why do you think Mr. R does not want Mr. F to hear what's being said? Oh, you think Mr. Oh, Mr. R is inviting Mr. L and Mr. G to come down to his playground on Rubber Band Road because it's going to be more fun and a bigger playground. He's trying to do what? He's trying to take his friends away. What do you think Mr. L and Mr. D are going to do? Let's look at the next part of our story and find out. Uh-oh. What have the letter people decided to do? They decided to go with Mr. R? How do you feel about the decision that they've made? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? How does Mr. F feel? How can you tell? Because he's crying, right? Mr. F thinks that the letter people were mean to him. Why does Mr. F feel that the letter people were mean to him? Yeah, because they, they're leaving without him. Mr. R is stealing his friends away. That's not very nice. Why does... Well, yeah, you're right. Mr. F has said that they're all being mean because they decided to go with without him. How could they have been nicer to Mr. F? Yeah, they could have invited him to come with. What else could they have done? You think that maybe they should have stayed with Mr. F? Well, let's find out in the next part of our story. Where did Mr. R take the other letter people? We can tell down here by... Yeah, he's taking them down Rubber Band Road. How did Mr. R get the idea of making Rubber Band Road? Yeah, he got it from Mr. F because Mr. F already had his own road, so Mr. R stole his idea. It's kind of cheating, don't you think? Just to impress friends? How is playing on Ripping Rubber Band Road different from playing on Funny Feet Road? Yeah, well, one has Ripping Rubber Bands and one has Funny Feet. Okay. How do you know that Mr. L is thinking about something? How can you tell that Mr. L is thinking about something? By looking at his face, the expression in his face. Mr. L once told us all about love. It's his favorite word and it's his favorite thing to do. What should he have remembered before leaving Mr. F? Yeah. How does Mr. F feel? Do you think Mr. L realizes how Mr. F feels? Does Mr. D realize how Mr. F feels? Hmm. How do you know that Mr. R does not feel sorry about making the other letter people leave Mr. F? What is he doing? Oh, he's laughing. Is he, is he almost kind of being like a bully? Yeah. No, that is not being nice. That is not being a friend. Is it all Mr. R's fault or are the other people also to blame? Yeah. You know what? Mr. R made a really bad choice, but I think Mr. D is also making a bad choice by leaving, by doing what? Yep, by leaving Mr. F behind and not even thinking about him. Do you think Mr. L is going to make a good choice? I don't know. What can we predict? The story ends there. Our story board, I should say. The pictures end there. But can we make predictions about how the story is going to end? How should that story end? Should the letter people go with Mr. R? What do you think Mr. L is going to do? Is he going to stay with Mr. F? Are they all going to go play on Mr. R's playground? Do you think maybe they should have stayed with Mr. F and then gone to Mr. R's playground? Mr. F wants to talk with the letter people, and then we must make a decision. Okay. I'm going to read the next part of my story here. So, we've got Mr. D, Mr. L, Mr. F, Mr. R, and Miss A. 
she's going to see what these letter boys decide to do. Again, we're going to finish off the rest of the story. So what does it mean to be jealous? Okay, how does it feel to be jealous? Does it make you feel good inside? When a person is jealous, I think that that means that they're afraid of lo losing someone's love. He thinks that someone else is loved more than he is. Mr. R already knows that everybody loves Mr. F. Mm -hmm. And he knows that everybody likes to play on Funny Feet Road. Mr. R thinks that people love Mr. F because he has Funny Feet Road. Mr. R thought that everyone would love him when he made Ripping River Band Road. Do the letter people love Mr. F just because he's he has Funny Feet Road? Will they love Mr. R just because he made the Rubber Band Road? So, uh, have you guys ever been jealous? Have you guys ever been jealous? Let me turn this back around. Have you ever, is there ever a time where you felt like maybe somebody wasn't going to love you as much or that somebody else was loved more than you? How did that make you feel? Probably not so great. Is it okay to feel jealous sometimes? Yeah. I mean, we all do. We all at times feel jealous, right, Mr. F? Yeah. I think every one of us has felt jealous at some one point or another. So, <clears throat> Mr. R makes, Mr. R wants the letter people to love him too. He wants to know what he can do to make the letter people love him. What are some ideas that Mr. R could do? Does Mr. R have to compete or steal friends away? Is that a necessary thing? No. No, I think if they all play together, each other would they would all like each other just as much. Don't you think so? Miss A says that Mr. R should not feel bad. Miss A has been jealous at some times, too. She thinks that most of the letter people have been jealous at one time or another, too, because... Oops. Oh, Miss A is on the move. Right? Miss A thinks that, yeah, everybody has been jealous at one point or another as well. Right? It happens to the best of us. But the way that we correct that is to say, I'm sorry. Just tell somebody that you're sorry. Right, Mr. R? That was the best lesson I think that he could have learned from this. Was that you can apologize for the things that you've done. And again, if you want to be in the part of a group, ask to join. You don't have to steal friends away. Just ask if you can come and play and do things with the rest of them too. Is that how our story should end? Do all the letter boys end up going over to Mr. F's playground and playing together with him there? And then maybe they all go off and play together in Mr. R's playground afterwards? I think that would be a great, I think that would be a great idea, right? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take Miss A and we're going to go read another story. You guys have a good night and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.